Welcome everyone to part 14 of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker HD. And it's been a it's been a little while since I played, but let's just let's get straight into it. You guys know the drill by now. Dodo. Octopus. Okay, Cecile. We have another hottie on the team. Which is never a bad thing. Sticker on the Intel team, okay. Oh yeah, if I remember, I didn't really have anything in R&D. But I did dispatch some troops, so... Let's see how the boys did. Okay. I don't think anyone died. Which is good. Stop giving me co-op shit. Give me some good individual player stuff. Alright, let's dispatch these boys. Okay, there's a chopper involved there. Alright, so the rest of these missions all have armoured vehicles, so now things get interesting. There's a danger that that tank is going to take out some of the boys, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just going to have two tanks. <laughs> yeah. I think that'll be I think that'll be an easy victory if I have two tanks there. Yeah, definitely nothing in R and D. Just making sure. Still a long way away from this support strike thing. I'm curious to see how how that is. I wonder if they they're literally is kind of like modern warfare style where they bomb the shit out of any particular area that you request but we'll find that out fairly soon although it is level 29 which is quite a long way away for now you have to keep getting them soldiers and war prisoners in there okay we're gonna need that ID card Snake, to gain access to the lab you'll need an ID card you can get one from a guard in an orange jacket stationed in an area where you can hear Quetzal singing. To get the ID card from the soldier, do a body check. You've got to get inside that lab before the AI gets shipped out. Get a move on. Uh, MGS and their random little things like... You have to go to an area where there's a songbird to find someone. I mean, what other game has stuff like that? you got to love it. Alright, so let me make the, the usual preparations. I have no idea where this dude's gonna be, and it's quite a quite a big area, so I'm not quite sure, but we'll see how it goes. I think I am ready. Okay, so the area I'm in has the word Quetzal in it. So maybe that's maybe that's a clue. There's supposed to be a Quetzal singing close to where your target is located. Keep your ears open. Okay. But unless they unless they're just tricking me, it should be it should be in this area. I mean, why else would it have the word Quetzal in it? Surely it's called something something Quetzal because there's Quetzals in there that sing. So let me try this area first. Okay, I forgot about the helmet there. But it wasn't too much of a problem. I took him out fairly quick. I need to get these these uh, mother base levels increased so that I can get some of these perks like the support strike and all that kind of thing. So I need to Fulton lift. Thanks, man. Would never have known. Okay. Like I was saying, I need to get these levels done so that I can get some of the nice perks. So getting ten Fulton lifts Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. per mission would be good. Okay. Just for the sake of, of taking them to Mother Base, 
I'm wondering if I should just take them out or not. Yeah. Okay. I'll come back to them later on. Okay. They all have helmets on now, which is frustrating. Maybe, I think I'm due at MK upgrade soon. Maybe when I get that upgrade, I'll be able to, even if I shoot them in the chest, maybe it will take them down pretty quickly. Let's see if you see this guy. Save bullets. Suppressor, anyway. The suppressor is more important. What? I thought when he did that other type of throw that they took him out in one go. Obviously not. The soldiers must be a little bit more advanced now. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Am I the only one that finds that really annoying? He must have said it about a hundred times since I started this game. Okay, so obviously he's not in the area that has the name Quetzal in it. So let's keep going. Let me remember what it sounds like. Once you know which soldier has the ID card, do a body check. Yes. To do a body check. Oh my god. You're doing great, Snake. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oops, that was a big. No shit. <laughs> I know it is not easy, but I have faith. Just in sing, you. bitch. Once you know which soldier has. Ugh. Let me try out some of the, the back areas of this. I don't want to go... Oh shit. I don't want to go all the way down to the beginning of, of the stage. I need to realise that it's been in this bit all along. There's those... There's that kind of side bit that I didn't check last time. So let me make sure I've checked everything. Guess not. Guess not. Okay, this might take a little while. Let's admire the coolness of Snake while we wait. Come on, dudes. Yeah, I just want to check where, where that soldier's going. Come on, really? Does it take that long? It's been like a minute. Fuck it. Uh, okay. Might as well send these guys up. Okay. Let me check around here. Okay. It's not that guy either. Might as well take him down. Okay, at least these guys don't seem to be whipping out those those strangling cords or whatever. That was so annoying. Every time I tried to see you see someone, they just do trying to strangle me. So that takes CQC out of the equation as well, so it's a bit annoying. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. And I don't really have a fully automatic weapon in case I get caught, so either I have to MK people or I have to CQC them when I get caught. So it's not it's not the best tactic. It's a shame you can't have one more primary weapon. That would have been good. No. If you forget what a Quetzal sounds like, what do you think I've been trying to do, radio. you absolute you. dumbass? <laughs> Need a reminder of that Quetzal call? Hmm? I don't know how K Y O H H H makes that sound when you say it. Whatever. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. And I definitely cannot hear it here, so let me continue to Selva de la Muerte, top of cliff. I'm hoping that it's really obvious when you, when you hear it, 
and it's not like you have to go to a specific part of the of the map when you get into that general area it'd be nice if you could hear it but this is the part with all of those really sneaky guys who are like hidden between the grass there was one here last time wasn't there okay they've m moved <laughs> <laughs> I know I saw something. Is somebody there? Was that the same guy who just said that back to back? Or is there a second person there? I can't tell. There must be some more people in this area, but I'm not sure if that was the second person that said that or not. Okay, there is a second person. Ah, oh, shit! I thought he was third, further away. Oh god, now I'm in trouble. At least I got a trophy. But I am in deep shit now. As I was saying, I don't really have much. This is, this is exactly what I was talking about. All I have is an MK in my CQC, and the CQC is not working anymore. Let me try punching them a bit first and then see who's seeing them. He's still not down. Okay. But they're just going to endlessly send, send men. I'm going to die. There's like four of them. I'm completely surrounded. This is not going to work. I'm just going to run. Let's see how running away works. As you can see, I mean, I can't take them head-on unless I have a fully automatic weapon. And I just blaze the shit out of them. But that's not happening. So, let's try plan B. <laughs> They're most certainly following me, but let's see how it goes. This is everything that MGS shouldn't be. But... Sometimes you you do what you got to do. But there's so many guys here, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Okay, keep moving. I'm going to have to take these guys out at some point. I think they're just going to keep following me until I'm dead. What does the, the squiggly line mean? Some of them have arrows, some of them have squiggly lines. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, they're not following me. Okay, fine. Oh, come on! Luckily, it's only your sight gauge that goes. Come on, you bitch. Oh, shit, there's three guys. Four, gu five. Okay. This is not happening, man. Seriously. There's about five people here. You're gonna die. Fuck you all. Come on, man. I've thrown so many fucking grenades. I'm gonna die. Oh. No, I, I think I, from what I can conclude, once you get caught on this game, you are seriously fucked. And as you can see, I got fucked. We ain't looking for no UMAs, kid. Alright, so... That is my advice to you. Do not get seen in this game. And if, you, if you're if you not good at stealth, then make sure you... you instead of taking them most in a gun, you just bring some... There's supposed to be a capsule singing close to where your target is located. Keep your ears open. Instead of bringing a, a most in a gun, just bring a, a massive machine gun so you can just mow them all down. As you can see, I mean, there was like six people around me. There's nothing I could do. And in the other MGSs, you could just sort of run to a new area, and then they'd all kind of funnel. They'd all come through one one place and you just take them all out. But this is seriously not easy. So now that I know he's he's in the 
He's in the final area. Let me go through quickly. Hopefully I'll get to him before the end of the episode. So it wouldn't have been for nothing. Vulcan recovery to helicopter is complete. Vulcan recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. He just does not shut up. How much further is he going to go? It's like the worst place he could have stopped. Let me see how this works. I'm curious. <laughs> well, okay, I used it as a distracting device. It's not really what it's supposed to be used for, but... I figured I hadn't used any smoke grenades up until now, so I might as well throw one. It does seem pretty effective, though. I'm always scared to use smoke grenades because I'm paranoid that it won't work. That they'll just somehow be able to see through the smoke because it's AI controlled, but might have to start using those. But, I mean, when you have an MK, I don't know why you'd need a smoke grenade. Once you know which soldier has the ID card, do a body check. To do a body check, first knock the soldier out, or put him to sleep, or hold him up. That works. I mean, too. I've been playing for about five hours, and you think that I don't know how to do a body check. You think I haven't tried to do a body check in five hours of play. They really... The way they've scripted him is terrible. Is somebody there? Down you go, you little bitch. It was all your fault last time. If I get seen again, I'm just gonna re I'm just gonna restart anyway. I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, I think those two should be here. I don't think there's anything else, anyone else in this area. But Ah, yes. Haha. <laughs> Good. Okay. So as long as you keep your eyes and ears open, you should be okay. Having a good, um, like, radar... Oh, shit. Okay, I see you. I see you, bro, I see you. Come on. Okay, so this this area was was pretty solid. They had four guys, and two of them were like fully camoed out. So, it's a treacherous bit. Not long now, though. Okay. The last time I came to this area, obviously, I was in alert mode, so I didn't... There's no way I can know where anyone was. I don't know if they change places from where they are on your way here. I'm guessing they do. Why they would, I don't know, because I definitely remember there was one near the entrance where I came in. But obviously, he's not there anymore. Yet somehow, they knew that I was going to come back this way. Okay. Thank God they give you these little clues that they know that you're there. If it wasn't for that, then you're just going to walk straight into them. Okay. I'm still going the same way I was going before, and yet now I can't be seen. Where is this guy? I think I see him. Yes. Yep, okay. If you forget what a Quetzal sounds like, give Cecile a call on the radio. She'll remind you. Well, no, I mean, when I try and do that, you make me talk to like 20 other people first. And then she makes pig noises instead of telling me what the bird sounds like. That's 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 what always happens, isn't it? This time, maybe if you call right after he gives you that message, then maybe that's when she does it. But if you call at other random times, then maybe it takes longer. Who knows? Okay. 
to anyone around here? Not that I can see right now. Okay, still no one. Okay, one guy. Take this guy out, nice and slow. Start talking. Start talking. Ah. I was trying to see if he gave you any information about anything, but obviously not. I have not had one useful interrogation yet in this game. Just making sure there isn't any area that I'm not sure about. Okay, so I'm guessing you have to go right down to the end. Which is annoying. But this is what happens when you play a game blind. So there are good points and bad points, but this one are negatives. Hopefully this should be the last area I have to get through. But once again, there's probably going to be hiding people here. Okay, you can see one. I don't think he has a helmet, but... Okay, good. Life is so much easier when they don't have helmets on. Dropped a battery, okay. Cool. Nice. How come that doesn't work without a battery? Okay. Alright, good. There's still more, okay. Nothing here. I see you. Okay, I've run out of Fulton lifts. Fair enough. Once I take him out as well, surely that should be it. Okay, down he goes. I think finally I should uh, I should be at the area with the dude who has the ID card. <laughs> this video is going to be too long for me to show the route back, so once I get the the, uh, the ID card, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it there, and then the next video will be the way back to the lab. That's of course if I don't get spotted first. Okay, my radar doesn't show anything. Neither do my eyes. Come on, this guy has to be here. What, is that the whole area? There's no one there. Or is this just part of it? Okay. Okay, so the area continues. Okay, there you are. Okay. That's that's really good camouflage, mate. Very convenient that he decides to wear an orange coat. It's good of him. Snake, pick it up. Oh, really? Thanks, man. I wasn't planning to. What a bastard. Okay, I'm going to cut it here, and we will continue so that I can show you the way back in the next episode.